Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen. What's the deal, YouTube? It's your boy, NextGen720, and I'm back with a video. Yes, I haven't done a video like this in a minute, uh, but I'm back on the grind. I didn't even do the multiplayer podcast today. I had some things uh, going on, but that's neither here nor there. I had a, a, a great, I haven't even changed the background, raw, uh, a great uh, one-on-one with Mooch. Um, if you haven't checked it out, I'll leave the link down below. We talked about just about any and everything. Uh, great show. Uh, but this is what this uh, today's video is about. You see the title. And how you say sometimes where there's smoke, there's fire. Now, it's like the third or fourth time that we're hearing uh, this rumor. It says here that the PlayStation 5 reportedly running games better than the Xbox Scarlet. Um, it says here, according to a new report... Games are running better on the PlayStation 5 in comparison uh, to running on the Xbox Scarlet. Xbox Untitled Next Gen Console, as you may know, previous report from earlier this year have all suggested that the PS5 is more powerful and more capable than the Xbox Scarlet. If this is the case and the games are running better on the Sony console, it makes sense. However, for now... This is unofficial, Scuttlebutt, but that said, according to yet another report, the PS5 is the superior of the two consoles, or at least it looks that way right now. And since earlier this year, developers began receiving dev kits from both consoles, and as of right now, it seems games are currently running better on the PlayStation 5 than the Xbox Scarlet. The report comes from a, well, no, I guess, quote-unquote, industry insider. Um, he also goes on to say that, um, according, from, I'm sorry, according to the forum user, games are currently running and performing better on the PlayStation 5. Uh, however, it's unclear if this simply due because of the power or the fact that the PS5 development hardware and software are currently in a more advanced state than the Xbox Scarlet, which can change. Uh, saying basically what he's saying is that right now, what their how you say quote unquote, what the the leaks or the industry insiders are saying that the PS5 is further along in development. So even if uh, just say the Scarlet is mm, slightly more powerful, or if it's not, really, their Sony's dev kits are far along as far as recording and. Right now, the games are performing better on the PlayStation 5. Uh, you know, that could change. Like I could say, you know, uh, the dev kits and the hardware, like I said, still are not final. But this is not the first time that we're hearing, quote unquote, this rumor. You know, that Sony's PlayStation 5 is slightly more powerful than Xbox Scarlet. Um, most likely Sony, Microsoft will try to make up some ground with, with software and direct X 12 and yada, 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 yada. But I've always said before, and I'm going to say this again, software would never beat hardware. You know what I mean? Uh, and the same thing all over again, you know, uh, at the start of this generation. Now we are already getting some forms of 4k, whether it's upscale dynamic 4k or 4K60, Microsoft has already went out and said that the Xbox Scarlet is indeed four times more powerful than the Xbox Scarlet. But what they meant by that, they're talking about CPU-wise uh, and uh, the memory bandwidth, the RAM, four times faster. So, you know, so at a minimum, yeah, you know, everything should be 60 frames a second. You look at Gears of War 5, beautiful looking game. They were able to get uh, that game running at four, no, well, uh, dynamic 4K, with, with 60 frames a second. You know, what I mean, with those anemic, quote unquote, Jaguar core CPUs. And to me, like I said, going into next generation, I think every game should be 60 frames a second. You know what I mean? Uh, just going forward. You know what I mean? But here's the thing. Again, um, we all know how Microsoft. Um, 900p, 720p. Will they make the same mistake going into next generation? The only thing that will be able to offset that, I'm just being honest with you, 
uh, because they're going to share the same multi plats you know what I mean? I've always said, just to be fair, I don't, you know, tell the difference between them. Native 1080p, upscale 1080p, a dynamic 4K, upscale 4K. Cause no one really talks about that now. It's always about the game. So if, again, if Microsoft is going to give up the power narrative, again, next generation, to me, is a big mistake. But more important than that, they need to have the games. They need to come out there and get a pounce on Sony with far as in terms of the games. You know what I mean? Like you said, you know what I mean? When Sony lost the power narrative with between the X and the Pro, boom, they start dropping out those AAA bangers. And if again, if Microsoft is not going to have the power narrative going into next generation, they need to be there, start of the generation with their big guns, and they have to, you know, be amazing. I'm not talking about CFEs and stuff like that. You need something outside of Gears, Forza, and Halo, you know what I mean, to woe about the audience, you know what I mean? But, damn, it's heating up already. And so far, like I said, like I said, with their smoke, there's fire. This is like the fifth or sixth article that it came out that said, again, that the PlayStation 5, is more capable than the Xbox Scarlet. How do you guys feel about that? For some of you Xbox guys that are maybe still, you know, sitting on the fence, me myself, I'm going to get both consoles. You know, I, I'm going to buy again the part, you know, most likely the bulk of my multiplats on the PlayStation unless I get something free. Uh, and I hope crossplay is mandatory, so it won't even matter. But for our shooters, I do prefer the. So you got a leak control here, too. You know what I mean? I got, a, I got a few elites. But I do prefer that controller for shooters. Uh, but everything else, like I said, going forward, my multi-plats will be on the uh, PlayStation 5. But it just feels like... Hey, listen, let's be, let's be clear this, right? That's what I was saying also. like, And, and not, I'm, not, I'm not taking a dig or a shot at any of those guys that do these pro Xbox podcasts or talking more about the techs and ray tracing and i said then that they they're worried about the wrong stuff it's always about the games because even when they both come out or whatever they're going to be about right here and one may be 10 percent more powerful like you guys are arguing about nothing it's about the games you know what i mean fact forget anything else who got hardcore ray tracing software ray tracing it's about the games and Still to this day, Microsoft has yet to show the game. They acquired all these studios. It's about the games. And what about this? And another thing. What if, say, Microsoft is? We'll have the more powerful console. But they talk about no console left behind. So they got a code from PC. PC to the Scarlet. The Scarlet to the X. The X to the S to the SAD. To the, you know what I mean? Well, Sony, I'm not saying Sony's not going to do any cross-gen development, but at a time when Sony's going to pull the line and they're just going to develop for the PlayStation 5, so they're going to be looking crazy again. How you say, I got the world's more powerful console, but look at God of War compared to Sea of Thieves or Crackdown 3. You know what I'm saying about this, and you know, again, I'm being brutally honest. This is coming from a guy that, quote-unquote, was a at back guy, you know what I mean? I'm just being honest. But anyway, this is your boy, Next Gen 720. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Does it matter to you? Is it important? If, you know what I mean, if Sony gets the gets the, the nod or gets uh, the power, how you say that, in the power department, does that matter to you? Or you just prefer to play on the Xbox and just that the other. Me, personally, I'm going to own both consoles. Uh, but I don't like, I ain't going to lie. Some of the games that Microsoft have been showing does not appeal to me in some of their decisions. I'm just keeping it all the way above. You know how I feel about that. But anyway, this is your boy, Next Gen 720. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Hit the like button. Follow me on my new Twitter account. Follow the Discord. Follow me on Twitch. Don't we get it jumping and cracking over there. All the links will be pinned in the first comment below. Follow me. I'll follow everybody back. That's my new and my last and my only Twitter. This is your boy, Next Gen. I'm out of here. Uh, damn.
mm, man, man, like, hey, with this smoke, this fire, and lost the power, <laughs> like, that's crazy, man, but this boy, I'm out of here, man, yeah.